All right, folks. I know that it's a bit of a disappointment that Nintendo is sticking to their guns and removing Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario 35, even the Mario pin set. Pretty much anything to do with the 35th anniversary of Mario is ending on March 31st. Now look, Bowser's Fury, uh, you know, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury isn't going anywhere, but that was probably going to release regardless of the 35th anniversary. Same thing with Paper Mario, same thing with the upcoming Mario Golf game as well. So those games are kind of like wrapped in a little bit to the anniversary, but also technically they were coming anyways. Uh, so they weren't necessarily 35th anniversary specific, but Mario 35, the Mario pin set, and yes, obviously Super Mario 3D All-Stars, all of these were done with the intent to be about the 35th anniversary. And Nintendo has decided, and they told us this from the get-go, that these things would be ending on March 31st, both physically and digitally. And I think the digital one is what upsets people the most. But I'm here today to tell you that at least for the month of April, and maybe for even a little bit longer, you will still be able to buy not only a physical copy of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but you'll be able to buy a digital copy as well. That's right, past the March 31st date. But how? Well, there's actually a neat little workaround that Nintendo themselves have confirmed. So before I get into that, I want to remind you that we do have a giveaway going on right now. Uh, we are giving away a $100 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift card. We're also giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and also two additional $20 Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or PlayStation gift cards for a total of four winners this month. To enter, head down to the pinned comment or to the description for more details and figure out how to enter. I wish all of you guys luck and heck, we're really close to hit to 66,000 subscribers on the channel, so I would love it if you guys go hit that subscribe button. Now look, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for a new HTN episode, no here's the news and all that. I'm not back into a regular content flow just yet. I have some things in the works behind the scenes. Um, and one of those things is actually going to be linked in the description because I'm going to source my own website. Uh, that's right, we now have a website. Uh, for this news, but the news actually originated from Video Game Chronicles uh, or VideoGamesChronicle.com. Uh, and essentially, what's happening is there is going to be an ability to purchase digital copies of this game and physical uh, for a little while past March 31st. Now, physical, uh, it's obvious what's happening with physical, right? Nintendo said they are done printing copies of the game after March 31st. So up through March 31st, Nintendo will still be making physical copies at the factories of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So there still will be, you know, one, two, maybe three more shipments of those games heading to retailers in the month of April. So retailers are going to have physical copies available for a little while, uh, and obviously they can have them available until they sell out. Now that's been known for a long time. That's been obvious. That's not new news. But what is new news are digital copies. So we know it is being removed from the Nintendo Switch eShop. And unfortunately, I don't have any good news for you there. You will not be able to purchase it on the Nintendo Switch eShop past March 31st. Now, if you already have bought the game, you will be able to re-download it. So that's you know neat that Nintendo's not technically taking the games off their servers. They're just taking the front-facing ability to purchase the game. But you can still buy a digital copy anyways, even if you don't have a Switch right now and you're just waiting, right? Like maybe you're waiting for that Switch Pro. You know, maybe you're waiting for something else uh, coming down the line. Well, you still might be in luck. Uh, and if you're waiting for Switch Pro, I mean, <laughs> take advantage of, of one of these things now before they're gone. But Nintendo has now confirmed that you will be able to purchase digital codes from Amazon and other online retailers past launch, assuming that these companies have bought these digital codes from Nintendo, you know, by the end of day on March 31st. So in theory, Amazon today could buy 1 million digital codes from Nintendo for Super Mario 3D All-Stars and then still be able to sell the game over the next year. Now that's just in theory, of course. I don't actually think Amazon is going to go ahead and pre-purchase 1 million 
million digital codes for it. But when you think about all the possible online retailers and how many of them uh, are, are going to be interested in possibly stockpiling some of these digital codes to continue to sell this game long afterwards, uh, it, it's definitely going to be more than one. There's going to be several retailers taking advantage of the fact that, hey, this is going to be a limited thing. Now, the worry, of course, is that once you get past March 31st, the retailers could charge whatever they want. They could just change the price because there is no MSRP after March 31st because Nintendo doesn't sell the game anymore. Uh, so they could get away with jacking up prices, and that is something you are going to have to pay attention to. But if you're looking to get a Switch Pro, you can literally download or, or, you know, or, or purchase a digital code today if you want even. And just hold on to that code and don't use it. It's still going to be valid, I think, for up to 12 months uh, or something like that, if not longer. So, like, literally, you'll be able to use these codes for a long time. So, yes, you won't be able to buy it on the Nintendo Switch eShop, but in person, physically, you'll be able to buy it for a little while. Also online, physically, for a little while as well. And digital code-wise, hey, if you're buying digital codes off Amazon, from Best Buy, Walmart, wherever you're buying your digital code from you'll still be able to do that as long as they still have supply. So it almost is the same supply issue uh, or, or supply reasoning that you could still buy physical after March 31st uh, for digital, except they could obviously plan ahead for digital, right? They can plan more ahead. Amazon, as I said, in theory, could put, could put in an order for 1 million of these codes, knowing that in the next year they are likely going to sell all 1 million of those codes because Nintendo doesn't have the game on their eShop anymore. Demand for the digital codes from other third-party retailers are going to be way higher, way, way higher uh, after March 31st than they are right now when people could just go spend the same amount of money but buy it directly from Nintendo. Now, I always tell people, take advantage of rewards programs. Like, you know, like if you're going to buy digitally, buy a digital copy from like GameStop with the rewards program, stack your points up, get your gold points, and get your points there. I, whatever, that's just me. I think just being a little bit too smart for my britches when it comes to being a consumer and maximizing my money. But, yeah, you guys let me know uh, if how disappointed you are that Nintendo isn't changing uh, their plans. Um, do you think Nintendo's ever going to bring Super Mario 3D All-Stars back like they did with the NES Classic? You guys remember they brought that back due to high demand. And do you think that Nintendo has a path here going forward where they could possibly bring these games back individually? Uh, I know that's been a theory going around for a while that maybe they bring them back at 20 bucks a piece, you know, maybe 30 bucks a piece or whatever they decide to charge. Uh, do you think, you know, that these games should just go away and maybe Nintendo should properly remake them? I know that's a a controversy that goes back to when these games were announced. But I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below because right now I'm just one person chatting with myself um, and hoping that you guys give a shit. So uh, Also, go ahead and check out NintendoPrime.com and let me know what you think. Uh, I am doing a lot of work on it uh, today. I did some work on it last night. Uh, it's not nearly, you know, really ready, ready, but I am going to be putting up some news articles there, including this one that I just did for this video. I actually had it posted there before here. Because uh, making a post is a lot quicker than making a video. So yes, I am. You're, you're going to see a lot more Nintendo Prime links in the description, uh, sourcing ourselves. But it's really just sourcing our website where we made the original post that will have all the additional information on lockdown for you guys in an easily, conveniently to read thing. Also, by the way, we started a gilded. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what that is. I'm, I, you guys all know about Discord, I'm sure. But gilded is like Discord. Uh, but it offers a lot of unique features uh, that I really, really enjoy. So I am now, uh, we now have a Nintendo Prime Gilded. So I really hope you guys want to join that. I'll put a link to join down in the description as well because I, I kind of like it more than Discord. No, I'm not abandoning our Discord server. We're going to keep it going. Uh, but I, I'm going to be much more interactive with you guys on Gilded than I ever was on Discord just because of how Gilded works. So, all right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.